Hey guys, this is Rusty, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It's Sunday afternoon about, oh, I don't know, 4 o'clock close. And Sunday, March the 12th, 2017. But anyway, look at that, guys. There's my home on wheels for the duration. And uh, so I'll, give you, I'll show you the setup. The only thing that's missing is I, have, I don't have the cover on the bed. And I don't have the ice chest in the where that gallon jug is right there. The ice chest goes right in there. But anyway, we'll get a close-up now, I'll show you. <clears throat> okay, guys, for you guys that want to live in a car, I'll give you some tips for a Prius anyway. Underneath here, that is the pantry. There's all kind of food in there and all kind of knives, forks, spoons. This little thing right here, this right here. This is a pad that you can stand on to take a shower. It's a like a pad you would stand on while you're at the kitchen sink. Does it come in handy? Yes, because when you're in the boonies, there ain't nothing to stand on when you want to wash your little body. And that is that bed is a trifold trifold yeah, tri memory foam mattress you can get it at amazon for about 75 bucks it's like 26 by 75 i believe or a little longer maybe and uh, this of course this is my this is my walking stick this is my umbrella this is the back the cover for this back window and uh, i keep some stuff on this side over here there's my oatmeal for in the morning i keep little napkins and bags and a flask of water and i keep a gallon jug of water right in front of the ice chest and on this side over here i don't have it there yet but right in this area i will put the bath stuff shower stuff and it'll all be in one bag okay so that way when i pick up that bag i know i've got everything i need and i don't have to worry about anything else okay this is the passenger seat it, behind the driver's seat and what you'll see there this container right here that's a, that's the pooping can and inside of the pooping can is another container that i can use to heat water in and there's also a, a quart cup that i can use to heat water in and also the burners in there the etexity burner that i use to heat water and this little thing right here hanging over the front seat is worth its weight in gold that's an organizer you can buy them at walmart just go where they have the shoe organizers and stuff and they'll have something like this the reason i got this one is it's got all kind of pockets and they're different sizes and i've got flashlights uh, shavers uh, razor blades toothbrush magnets my an extra te telephone over here that i use for a, a clock when i'm sleeping at night i got a temperature gauge up there a little mirror and down the bottom i've got a spritzer right in here i got my vitamins which i rarely take but i always take them with me for some reason i always take some vinegar vinegar comes in handy for a lot of things and then underneath the seat i put my walking shoes and up in the front seat here of course the passenger seat wide open and those two containers that's a 30 ounce stainless steel uh, insulated mug that i'll have tea in the one next to it just has water in it so i don't have to stop and get water on the way <clears throat> these little window visors here are on above the window the ones that stick on the outside that's the ones you want you don't want the, the the visors that go up in the groove you want the the one that stick on the outside and that takes care of that now we'll go around to the other side but again you talk about the comfort that bed is comfortable i promise you that's the most comfortable bed i've had i've had air mattresses i tried a crib mattress this is the best so far uh, underneath the crib mattress as you can see uh, right up here in front of the seat right up here and this box is closed and it also fills in that space this is a fitted sheet that fits that mattress pretty good and i got a lot of clothes in this thing right here underneath that i keep water there's like three gallons of water here and i also put chips and stuff and i also have some little blocks of wood up there in case i need to level my car now you can see how i've got this set up this is just a little quarter inch piece of plywood that i put under the seat and then fold this down on top of it works perfect it's plenty stable i mean it, it works great and it gives you all that open space underneath i've seen it done a many a different way but that's the best i've found for me then in the front up here in the front seat of course that goes this thing here goes on the front windshield gives you a little privacy and i've got a couple of little containers in the seat i've got my 
dash mount, I've got a towel, uh, I've got some snack stuff, there's my beer holder, my brush, and then in the floorboard in the front here, I've got in that oatmeal container or is two uh, propane bottles or butane bottles for the Etexity uh, burner thing. And then I keep a roll of paper towels there and some Kleenex over there. And I also got a box of wine. And we're good to go. Also, hat, hat, take a hat. Because where I'm going, it'll be hot and dry and sunny. No, no shade. But with the umbrella, the umbrella works perfect. So having said that, this is the basic setup. The only thing that's not in there is on the left-hand side by the gallon jug right here would be an ice chest. The gallon jug would be in front of it. And then on the bed, of course, it'd be covered with a uh, cover, quilts or whatever, a blanket. And then on top of that, I lay my clothes. I put all the clothes I'm going to take with me on top of the bed. And then at night when I get ready to go to sleep, uh, then I just put them on top of the ice chest over here because I don't take much. You're talking about a lean, mean traveling machine here. Uh, I don't, I don't go in for frills. If it's not, if it doesn't have a triple purpose, uh, then it probably stays at home. But having said that, guys, again, this is Rusty Seven Eight Six Zero Nine in Central Texas, USA, and uh, we're fixing to get on our way. And there's Matilda. I was going to take her with me, but I couldn't find a place to put her. And for you guys that don't know anything about me, there's my 26-foot Jayco J-Flight RV that I live in. And it's under a car cover or under a cover, aluminum cover. And I've got a nice wooden deck, and this is really nice. This, this, I have more privacy here than any place I go camping, except sometimes out in the boonies on BLM land, government land. But anyway, uh, that's about it, guys. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Also... Uh, tomorrow, you know, of course, you, you, I know I'll get, I'll get a lot of comments for a lot of reasons on different videos, and uh, I usually try to respond to most of them if I can, and I'm getting more and more comments, so it's becoming more and more difficult, and sometimes I just click on the thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, and, and keep going like that, but tomorrow morning, I'm not going to take the time to do any comment response because I'm going to get underway, and I, hopefully I'll have some time when I get to the campsite to do that but if i run behind on responding to your comments uh bear in mind that i'm going to be traveling and i will get to them as i can and uh having said that we're good to go so i'm going to be living on the road for a while how long i don't know uh it, it could be short could be long but anyway i'll kind of pan around here while i'm talking uh and uh that's about it guys just uh looking forward for to, to the trip and i'll be leaving in the morning i may do a a driving video but uh, we'll see but i'm getting some road noise in my driving videos i can't figure out why i've had some guys make leave comments that may you know may help or work out but i'll figure it out eventually because it's just something you got to deal with when you're doing videos it's got something to do i think with this new phone but having said all of that all of that tomorrow morning we are going on a trip somewhere uh, and it's going to be little bites at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Well, tomorrow we're going to take one bite, and the elephant is the rest of my life. So anyway, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water. About three quarts a day ought to do it. You will pee-pee like a racehorse or a two-peckered possum, possibly a three-peckered possum that I made up. But you'll feel a lot better because it cleans all the crap out of your body, or a lot of it. Take deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And uh, stretch, walk, do all that stuff. I, I took a good walk this morning for about an hour, and then I did a little short one this afternoon. But anyway, that's just me. You know, eat less. Eat less. That's it. Keep your health. Anyway, enjoy your day, guys. Adios. Bye-bye.